Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in a third person demo area, which I've lovingly placed some grass down and some rust textures and a metal texture, which is pretty cool. And uh, use some of the foliage. It kind of does all this by itself. It just sort of places it randomly about, which is pretty cool. And, um, and yeah, like I say, I've just been messing around today with models and materials so um, one of these boxes came in the level and so I duplicated it and put the uh, the chrome well it's like brushed metal you can see my reflection in in the box it's pretty cool so you can see me walking past it and stuff doing the animations it's nice and um, and then what I did was I modified that to make this one which is sort of like a green metal I guess but it's like a satin um, it's kind of hard to see um, and then this is this is the ocean it's the ocean material which is pretty sweet and then it's here... minecraft water blocks <laughs> oh my god it's a minecraft water block but this wasn't the fun part oh and I made gray look I made a gray material there we go done we can now quit video game development now. I've achieved that's that's all I wanted to achieve was make this grey block. Okay. Anyway, also I started making some more interesting models like these Gundams here. The, uh, but yeah. They've taken them from my old libraries. So if you can see this here, it actually came out really well. Um and with the minimal amount of time as well. So I just wanted to see that it was possible to put our own models into the game easily. So I used a couple of models which like for example that Star Trek ship which I built ages ago. It's got it's the JJ Prize with a teacup. Oh. And it's white. It does say NCC one seven oh one on it, but you can't read it from here. It's actually full size. Like if I had a gun I could blow it up into little pieces. Because destructible physics are built into this game. Um, so I've got a bazooka Gundam in red. I've got um, I've got uh, the RX-78. Then obviously the NT prize. And then over here I've got a D Deridex, which I took from Star Trek Online. But like I say, this isn't going to be released. This is just for me to mess about with and learn stuff. Um, that model over there in the background is actually really far away. If you notice when I'm moving around, it hardly moves. It's not moving. It, it is actually just full scale and really far away. <laughs> like this area that I'm in is tiny. When I la loaded it in, it basically just enveloped the entire map. Oh, and also I got the Louisa down there, which is my uh, latest OBJ ship that I built for StarMade. But yeah. So down there, the lighting needs to be rebuilt. I'm not going to rebuild it because this map's too crazy. It would probably take like an hour. But um, I'm especially proud of the two Gundams. So I'm just going to show you. I'll remove the other models from the map. Okay. So we just click on that. Delete it. Click on that. Delete it. Even though that is funny. Click on that. Delete it. And back in. And they're gone now. Oh, Gundam. I need to get to my Gundam. <laughs> I'd love it if you could actually... Do you know what? That's, that's not a bad idea, actually. You could build a map where you run into the cockpit. That'd be cool. Next thing you know, you're flying it. Uh -huh. It's almost like video games. Yeah. Do you know what? I think that's going to be my new front page. I love it. That's great. All right. So basically, um, it was just a quick short recap showing you what I've been doing today um, it's copyright sensitive material so it will never get released but I love Gundam and I wanted something fun to paint for the Sunday afternoon so there it is I think it came out really well um, the one on the right the model was done in a way that had less groups so it was a lot harder to paint um, really what I do is I'd, I'd, I'd make the model in a spec in a you know I'd make the model more like the one on the left after having so much easier so but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you all soon